I'm Dave Bosco and this is Amy and today we're going to go over trailer winterization uh, something that needs you you <laughs> <laughs> hi I'm Dave Bosco and this is Amy and today we're going to go over trailer winterization what you need and the way that we do it is how we <laughs> do it <laughs> how we do it. <laughs> I'm Dave Bosco and this is Amy and today we're talking to you with the camera in the microwave. Why? <laughs> because I forgot the tripod. So you're gonna see the little edge of the door over here. So just bear with us today. We're gonna go over trailer winterization. What we use to do it and how we winterize the trailer, which may be a little bit different than you, but I'm gonna show you today how to do it by yourself. So what you need um, to make, so you're ready, always have a flashlight. Now I have a magnetic flashlight also. Um, you wanna get some paper towels. I use about maybe five of them, keep them together. That's in case you get any excess water. You're gonna want a flathead, at least for this trailer. This trailer, um, takes a flathead to get into the door and this is my hose that I'm actually going to hook up to the pump and be able to put into the antifreeze bottle now we're going to attempt to do this with two gallons of antifreeze and an adjustable wrench for the hot water heater so the trailer that we're doing today is a 2018 um Holy crap. Microlite. Thank you. Yes. It's a 2018 Microlite by Flagstaff. Uh, has one bathroom and an outside kitchen and an outside shower. So we're going to be going through all this today. Here we go. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is drain your water tank that's underneath your trailer. Locate this valve, open it up, and let this thing run. Then you want to locate your low drain lines which is behind the wheels here center what these are is this is the low point drain for your rv you want to take both caps off which drains all the low points uh, that'll get all the water out that is trapped inside now some of these are located in different areas you're going to find uh, most likely there'll be a sticker um, something telling you exactly where to go if you have any questions about where the low point drains are uh, check your owner's manual they are very difficult to get to now this looks a little bit more difficult because we're trying to move I'm, I'm trying to you know situate the camera here at the same time so it's usually a lot easier than this so now once you get those off you're going to locate your compartment where your hot water heater is some of them have a door it looks just like this but it doesn't open it has uh, three hinges two on one side and a hinge on the other side which really makes no difference because you can't get it open so you got to take the screws out now once you're inside this compartment where I'm turning right now is the bypass valve itself you want that to line up with the tubes and then go up to the top where your hot water is and shut that valve off and then you're going to go down to your cold water and you're going to shut that valve off by shutting those valves off keeps the antifreeze from going into the hot water heater so then you want to come outside and you want to take this there's a nut right here you want to take this nut off now before you do this you want to make sure that you've opened your hot water drains just to take the pressure off of the inside so we're going to take this this nut off and you'll notice that there is a rod attached to it uh, what this does is it takes the uh, instead of corroding the inside of the tank it'll corrode that rod so you can see the water coming out now I'm taking the pressure relief valve and I'm pulling it open so it'll come out even faster let the air out of the way so we've got the hot water heater closed off we've got it draining so now we want to go into where the water pump is now you see this line here at the top comes down that is actually your winterization line this line down here 
is your fresh water intake line. So this line, your, ana your uh, outside antifreeze line, that's where you want your, you can actually do this all from the outside. But what I do is right down here, I'll disconnect this. This way I don't have to have anybody outside watching the antifreeze. So what we'll do is we'll take this line off of the bottom. Now, earlier I showed you the hose uh, that we had. And what we'll do is we'll take that hose. You can see it in the back. I'm going to screw it into this end of the pump. Okay. It's a little tight. But what I do is I screw this into the end of the pump. Now that hose is, I want to say, about 18 inches long. Um, got it at Lowe's, and it's just long enough to be able to take your antifreeze jug. Now in the background here, you're going to see a filter canister. We don't ever use that. We don't keep a filter in it. Uh, if you do, take the filter out. Um, so what you do is you take this hose stick it down into your antifreeze bottle now it's a tight area in there and the reason I'm trying to find a place to put it is so I can get that hose to go all the way down inside plus I don't want to have to hold it outside because this we're trying to do this with just one person so I'm gonna find this little spot in this corner here we're gonna set it down make sure the hose is all the way inside now you can hear it pumping okay this is what it looks like when you turn your water on it's pulling the antifreeze into the lines and is going to come out here's the kitchen sink okay we're doing the cold side first and then we'll do the hot side. Now you'll see it comes out pink on the hot, but then it turns to clear again. Uh, don't let the pink confuse you because that's just what was in the neck of the sink. So hot water flushes that out. We go into the bathroom and we do the bathroom sink. Same thing, we're gonna do the cold side first. Then we're gonna go over to the hot side. You can see it started to come out pink and there we go now what we're going to do is move on to the shower you take your shower head bring it down you'll start to see it change color a little difficult to see here but you get the idea it's going to come out pink and then you're going to switch to the hot side and do the thing now i'm going to come to the toilet There you go. You always want to leave a little bit of water right around that seal to keep it from drying out. Now this is what happens. You're going to go through a good bit of antifreeze. By doing this inside the trailer, you can see your level. You don't have to worry about running out or the pump running dry. You can see the canister in the back has turned pink. So now we're going to get our other jug out. And we're going to put that in because we're now getting ready to move to the outside of the trailer put the hose back in through the top and we're going to head to the outside kitchen we're going to remove our plug we're going to turn the one side on and there it goes pink and then we're going to turn the other side on it's coming out pink but then it changes to clear just so we get make sure that the hot cold line is reading now we're going to come to the outside shower once you open it um, you want to do the same thing that you did for your sinks and your shower. You want to open one side, wait till it comes out pink, and then do the other side. Now once it comes out and it's pink, I normally just, just leave it hang. Don't try to put it back in because you still have to close your hot water door you still have you know to close everything back up okay so what we showed you today was how basically one person can winterize a trailer if you're looking to save money if you're not used to doing things like that i, I would suggest uh going to an rv dealer 
and, and having them do that or uh, just learn how to do it uh, just in case you're ever camping and you need to winterize the trailer because you're you're staying somewhere and it might get really, really cold. Now, I appreciate you being here today. Again, my name is Dave Bosco for Camping with the Boscos. And please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another video that we post. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.